Hey guys, this is Jedi Chronic back with the Get Good Guide. Uh, we're going to look at um, doing your first grind location today. Um, this is a really good place to go build up skill points, uh, to get uh, materials. Uh, you can get spirit emblems here, build that up. You can get oil pots uh, if you like setting stuff on fire. Uh, these guys occasionally drop some uh, black powder. Um, so lots of stuff we can get here. Mainly what I'm after is the skill points. So uh, one thing to remember when you're, uh, you're grinding is you, you can resurrect, but you don't want to take that final death. Uh, you, obviously, you want to avoid the, uh, the rot. Um, but if you die, you lose half of all the cash in your pocket, and uh, you lose half of your progress to your skill point. So uh, if you get in trouble, just back up and reset, go back to the idle and start over. That's the whole point. That's the whole point of grinding is just to build up skill points. So I usually start this uh, grind at the estate path. So I'm going to rest here, make sure everything is uh, is kosher. And then we're going to jump up there. And I'm going to get a dive bomb on that guy. Apparently dive bomb didn't work. This archer is who I'm really concerned with. So I want to kill him and that guy. And then I can go back and deal with the armor guy and then pick up this item so that's a little bit tricky that's a little bit tricky uh, if you can get a dive bomb on that guy that would be great uh, then I focus on uh, getting that that the archer that was standing there then get this guy and then I'll come back and get the armored uh, guy so for these three guys, uh, there's a guy there with a torch, there's a guy there with some armor, we're going to save him for last, and there's a guy with a bow. Uh, this guy's closest, so we're going to get the drop on him and kill him first. Then I'm going to um, avoid this guy and uh, probably do a, a jump and slash to uh, get to this dude um, and uh, kill him, and then we'll, we'll get that guy. Oh, missed that. Good. Now we can just deal with the armored guy. Just kill him with a, a counter attack and a little R1 spam. Careful rushing these guys um, from the front because they will kick dirt in your face. Uh, so if you're going to rush them, you want to rush them from behind. So this is a little tricky. Uh, this next section has a couple of dogs. So, uh, and, 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 I'm going to crouch here so he doesn't see me. He already tried to see me. There's an archer over there. We're trying to avoid that archer. Uh, so we've got some shurikens loaded. I'm going to drop this dog over here. And then get a stealth kill on this guy. If you go up to the wall, you can get a stealth kill. And then we can get a stealth kill on this guy. So now I'm going to double jump over here. And I'm going to go take out that archer. Oh, I missed my jump. So I'm going to retreat and go back from this direction. Jump up here. Goodness. There we go. And then I like to take that guy out first, because he doesn't know what's going on. Then this guy. Get a lunge set up. And watch out for these dogs. Those dogs are a little overwhelming. Gonna run back to our tree. Heal up. And then go ahead and pop a pellet. And then we're gonna wait for those dogs. See, right there. Boop. There's one. And now the name of the game is uh, just taking these guys out one at a time. That guy doesn't really know where we're at, so we're going to get him from behind. I know he doesn't know because he's got a yellow flag. And then get away from this guy. Um, I'm not sure how many guys are left up. 
So I'm going to go back to a clearing and see if we can figure that out. There we go. Just block him when he swings. Uh, counter attack, and you're good to go. Uh, I'm going to pick up these items. Most of it's just ash and ceramic. We came back and got the flame vent earlier. There's a wealth balloon. We can use that later. Uh, definitely look in all of these houses. There's some spirit emblems. Make sure you don't lose uh, or miss anything else. And I think, yep, this... Hoover all this stuff up. That oil's going to be really useful for our um, uh, fight with the ogre here in a little bit. There's a, there's a guy up here around the corner. Uh, maybe. We might have already killed him. Um, I, he likes to get the drop on you, so if he's there, I'm just going to take him out with that axe. And we're going to come over here. That guy's going to investigate what happened. Um, I like to run across here, jump, land on this, and then get a dive bomb on this guy. Rotate your camera to your next target. Lunge. And then R1 spam this guy. Make sure you hoover up your loot. So there's a bunch of chickens over here and a couple of items if you haven't gotten it. Um, you can definitely go mess with the chickens, but they're kind of a pain in the butt, so I'm going to leave them alone. Going to open this door so that if we want, next time we come through here and grind, we can uh, that door will stay open and we can uh, just run through if we want. So I'm going to avoid that room over there, but I'm going to jump up here. Uh, this is a one-time thing. It's not, not part of the grind, uh, but I want to show you guys because there's a super rare item over here. Uh, this is uh, actually the vendor from uh, near the Chained Ogre. Do not kill this guy because if uh, you do, he, he won't be there in the main timeline. Uh, we're going to jump back here to this little path. And we're going to grab this. This gives you a free res. It recharges your, your res. Those are super rare, uh, and I, I really only keep them for absolute emergencies. Absolute emergencies. So uh, these are the next two guys we're going to get. Again, we're going to take out the, uh, the armored guy with the dive bomb because he's the most dangerous. And then we'll deal with that guy. Rotate your camera. It's not letting me. There we go. And then we can just spam this guy. Be careful. He's a little pokey with that torch. Uh, he will get you sometimes. He will get you sometimes. Uh, I'm going to pull this guy down to me with a shuriken. And then switch back to the axe. Okay. So, these guys you want to use the axe on. just completely makes that that shield a, a, a non-issue it makes that shield a non-issue uh, so at this point you can go forward and kill those guys but there's a shinobi hunter up there uh, I don't want to mess with that shinobi hunter until um, I have a uh, Mithiri counter unlocked so we're just gonna leave him alone uh, for the moment and not go that direction instead we are gonna jump off and go here up there there we go now get up here and there's a couple of guys here we can get pretty easily okay. 
get a stealth kill on that guy. Leave those guys in there for the moment. That guy's got armor on, so we're just going to drop him. And there's two guys here. There's one with a shield, uh, and there's one with armor. So I'm going to backstab the guy with a shield, because we don't need the axe, because he's not paying attention. Then I'm going to axe that guy. Uh, you, you don't have to axe him if you don't want to, but it sure does make killing him easier. Woo. Got a little heat there, got a little heat. Goodness, goodness, I got overpowered, I got overpowered. Okay. Hoover up some loot, make some space, and put our axe to use. You get a couple of iframes when uh, when you're killing with the axe, so that's real helpful. And it will break just about everybody's posture. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Good thing I got an extra res. I uh, gotta be careful now, gotta be careful now, because if I die again, I'm gonna um, lose everything I just put in work for. Now we're gonna hoover up all this loot. Gonna hoover up all this loot. You can go down here and get a free stealth kill on a, <coughs> a mini Shinobi Hunter. Gonna look for him. Be real, real careful. Uh, back up and let him walk up the stairs, and then we'll get him when he's going back down. There's a secret item over there. Uh, and be real careful. Use your camera to rotate, because if you get his attention, uh, you're going to uh, not have a good time without Makiri counter. So that's about perfect. Just going to wait for him to turn around. Sometimes that's what being a shinobi is about. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. I'm not gonna rush this guy. Just gonna creep. And there's another shinobi hunter down there, but that guy means business. So I'm not gonna mess with him. You can't get a stealth kill on him uh, until uh, a little bit later. Okay, um, we're gonna go to the next area. There's one more guy. Now, sometimes I'll just stop my run at the two axe guys, uh, or the two axe guys, the two shield guys, um, previously, that were standing at the top of the stairs, um, but I want to show you guys how to get to the next idol, just in case you don't know. I'm going to jump up that well, and then pick up free items, and then we're going to come over here. Gonna rest. Gonna spend some of those skill points I got, so I'm gonna acquire skills. And uh, um, the the very first thing I want to get is this Makiri counter. Um, it lets me um, uh, deal with thrust attacks. So I'm gonna buy that. I don't really care about the slide, but I do care about suppressed presence. So we're gonna pick that up next. And I'll show you guys a little bit of the grind from this statue. There's going to be a guy right there. We're going to rush and lunge. And then I'm going to jump up here, crouch, and hoover. Get that guy's loot. And we're going to get the drop on these uh, guys. There's a bunch of dudes down there. If you just rush in, you're going to get overwhelmed. So we are going to divide and conquer. Uh, that suppressed presence we picked up is definitely going to help here. 
I'm going to try and fight these two guys uh, next to this building and then get a stealth on that guy with a torch. And that'll uh, mean uh, it's a little more reasonable to deal with everybody else. I'm going to wait till I can get a clear jump. And we're going to take out the armor guy. Oh, I missed the jump. So they don't... Oh, no, they do see. Sometimes you can get a stealth kill on that guy. Sometimes you can get a stealth kill. Remember when you're fighting in groups that death flow gives you eye frames. The death flow gives you eye frames. No wait for that dude to come out. Get him. Nice little deflect and counterattack there. Uh, there's a couple of guys in there with some loot. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? So these, uh, there's some loot in here. I'm going to go get this real quick. This stuff's only here um, once, so you just pick it up once. And then we can get some more free kills over here. Let me get this. Um, you want to be real careful uh, with... Um, coming over here, you don't want to. There's a guy right there above my top knot. You don't want to get too close to him uh, and talk to him because you'll you'll activate him. Uh, but we're going to take out a couple of these guys. Just for the points. Get a stealth kill on that guy. Lunge this guy. Hoover up the loot. Going to grab this. And then you can, you can make sure I have my axe equipped. Uh, you can actually um, shrink in these guys and pull them over here. Um, but psh, I, I actually like to do this. Um, our boss is right there. We are not going to tangle with that boss right now, but we are going to get some free kills. My next problem target is this archer, so I'm going to kill him. And then make some spice. Then make some spice. Watch out for big guy over there. Watch out for big guy over there. Just separate him. Get him separated. And I'm not going to fight... Uh, the, the boss at the moment, but I can actually go over and talk to this dude and reset it, and then he'll go deal with uh, the boss while I kill the rest of the trash. Use right menu to get out of that. And I, now I'm going to go kill this guy. And now we can hoover up all that loot. Make sure you're keeping an eye out for the boss. Wait, don't kill that guy. I want to kill that guy. There you go. Okay, so we're going to do a separate video on how to kill um, uh, the drunkard. So I'm not too terribly worried about him right now. I'm going to go ahead and jump back to um, my last idol. Just to reset. And that's what the Harada Estate grind is about. Um, there's a couple of different paths you can take. That's one of my favorite. Um, just go kill all the, the little minions. And uh, you'll get plenty of stuff uh, and loot. Um, uh, it, it's a, I cannot say enough about the early Harada Estate uh, grind. You definitely want to put some time uh, into grinding and get some skill points out. Uh, so now that we've stocked up a little bit, we've got a couple of moves uh, and some skill points. We're going to go knock out the Chained Ogre. If you guys uh, like this video, if you learned anything, please like and subscribe because 
that's what this is about. Love you guys. Uh, hit me up with some comments. Let me know. Um, uh, did I? Do you guys take a different path? Um, uh, do you have a, a better strategy? I'm always learning to, uh, or loving to, uh, to up my game. So let me know what's going on. Uh, thanks. You guys have a great day.